Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. So Botanical Beauties, we are in the month of March now and we have a brand new prompt with Susanna and she has selected lilies. There are a lot of lilies out there, different shapes of lilies and oh my goodness the colours. The colours, I'm still not decided on the colour I'll select. I've taken two screenshots of the lilies and the colours they come in that are this style and um, I'll pop it at the end of the video. I'm not 100% sure what one I'll do, as in colour. I'm going to do this style which comes from the book. There they are sitting up here at the top of the book. Um, <clears throat> it's just a case of um, do I blend or do I do something completely different? That's what's in my head at the moment. Not so much the colour. Do I do a compolar opposite colour or do I do something that is from this palette so this corner sort of all works together or do I do something completely different? That's where my head's at. <clears throat> anyway, in the meantime, we need to draw our lilies. So I just wanted to check. I haven't had a chance to look in this book I sort of um, use this book to get uh, some a bit of an idea of where to lay my paint more so than the drawing of it but <clears throat> let's have a little look lilies lilac huh, maybe there are none in here sure there <clears throat> Canna lily, that's part of the lily family, that guy. So there's that one. I did consider doing the canna lily, but I just felt like it might be a little bit boring to stitch. Very easy to draw, but it might be a little bit boring to stitch. So I sort of thought, no, I'll stick with the one with plenty of petals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I just had a sneezing attack. I don't know, sometimes... Water lilies, yeah. See, there's another one that I was thinking seriously about. But I didn't select that one because I didn't want big green leaves. Like massive. Yeah, water lily leaves are so big. I didn't really want to go down that track. And I thought these petals, yeah, I just... I sort of wanted something more free-flowing than a, a blob. Okay, there's the technical speech for it. Let's have another look. Ah, okay, here we go. Yeah, that's that's the one. I love how we get this half open petal, um, a flower. We get this beautiful bud, and then we get the flower itself. The leaves are quite good, nice strappy, nice and open. So that's that's the one. And I, the colours too, we can really play with spots and dots and beads. And I think the, the lily is going to be... Any other irises? No. <clears throat> Adrangia. Hippiastrums. Oh, see, I love hippiastrums too. Oh, gosh, there's some beautiful flowers out there. You could seriously do this project... Um, for years like just pick another flower every month it was just it was quite hard to narrow it down to 12 to be honest <clears throat> that's why i said to Susanna, you just pick six i'll pick six and then we're done so that's how it came to be all right i think that's the best we're gonna get i might keep this open that's a photocopy of the um, <clears throat> one from that book so like usual got a little bit of scrap fabric just want to have a bit of a sketch get a bit of a feel for the way these um, <clears throat> flowers sort of flow so let's have a look at this guy we've sort of got this really loose curved all heading into the center of the flower 
And then there's this base. I'm sort of looking at this guy here. Oh, you can't even see. Luckily, I looked up at the screen. It's going to be <clears throat> how we place the petals, isn't it, with this one? To get the feeling of that there is this bulbous. Where's my rub it out? Put my iron is on. <clears throat> Let's get this leaf happening up here. The petal. Oh gosh. I'm going to be calling leaves petals and petals leaves. I can see it. It's like a banana. Interesting shapes in this. And then little curly bits as they tuck back on themselves. Might take me a bit to draw this one. Okay, so we've got the general shape. Looks like a heap of banana skins peeling off of a banana. <laughs> oh my goodness, but it's all right. Don't panic. We've got these very unusual stamens and they're quite long. It really is. Once you get a feel for it, you'll be right. But just practice your shapes just break it down to what are you looking at you're seeing this oblong this little shape here long strappy shapes very technical speech here <clears throat> there we go there's all the little stamen-y things inside and then there's real defined lines of color probably the the color on my short list would be white with the green I just think I could have a bit of fun it looks a bit boggy in there yeah a white lily and if I'm buying lilies as gifts, they're often white lilies. Like they're just, I just think they're so beautiful. So there's lots of color down in here. Like the throat of these things is a really defined color. And then that drifts up and then peaks at the top. And you know, so there's this, this structure coming out of the lily in the way of lines is what I'm noticing. And then that lily was closed in a bud, <clears throat> which is this sort of uh, banana shaped pod. And then there's this, I don't know, how do we draw that? There's like, you can sort of see the start of the petals coming on that pod. And then the pod colour is often the centre colour and the base colour. So this pod doesn't look right to me on this, really. I'm just going to bring it up more. <clears throat> no, that's not it. So this pod is split open and if I was going to do the green and the white, the green would be on the inside and drifting out and around the tips, but it also would be quite predominant on the pod as it's getting ready to sort of, you know, burst open. So that's my thoughts with 
the lily. Um, the leaves are very strappy. And then they've also got this shading. Mm, got a little bit lost there. No, that's all right. So we've got the pod coming down, then these leaves. go as far as popping a pot out here, a pot and a leaf and like <clears throat> so in this picture they're all hanging down so it's like that so yet in this picture got this hot iron in the middle of it they look like that so they've got a bit of an unusual segmented way about them too like where they join there's nearly a segment in there. That's very rough, like it doesn't look like a rectangle, but there's a distinct where that pod has come from, uh, probably a node and growing out. I wonder if I can do anything else here. I think I got the general gist of it, of the plant. Real strappy leaves, these pods, yeah. Okay, I think that's enough to get us started. So let's grab our piece. <clears throat> I'll keep that and that. Always sketching it beforehand just helps me get my head into the, the shapes of the things. And being that it's a heat soluble pen, um, I can just iron it until I feel like I've got rid of the the markings and got it, you know, got it right. So the question is, are we going to have them hanging down like that? See, that's nearly the right size. That's pretty good. Probably would just drop a leaf up the top there, but well, we're going to have it like this one, open. I'm thinking it's going to be along those lines, to be honest. So if the head of the lily was here, we squeeze a butt in there and maybe butt up the top. We'll see how we go. <gasps> Nerve wracking. Don't be nervous, girl, because you can just iron it out. See, I'm fiddling. I'm fiddling. Let's start with this big, the big leaf. coming down. Oh, it looks too big, but anyway, keep going, keep going. Um, where's my picture? bit of a, a leaf coming out. Oops, it doesn't have a little module like that. <clears throat> That's the one there. It's got this curve here. And there was this one coming across the back. That's the banana looking one. <laughs> and there was this curly guy here that was turned back on himself.
them it never looks as good as the first time you draw it <laughs> oh my goodness it'll get there that's got it just getting your head in the right imagination of the shape <clears throat> Guy's not bad, but he's got to show a bit of an underside, I think. Will help sell in. This guy looks terrible. That's better. And that guy's sitting over the top of that guy. Then we've got this guy over the back that is bent out of sight. And we've got this big fellow coming up here that's also got a bit of a bent shape about him. guy a little bit more interesting all right do we have enough I think this guy's got to come in to there maybe not maybe that guy's into there yeah I sort of feel like he needs to come into there yeah that's better and he's a little bit on the outside of it he's coming out they've got a real uneven edge about them it's not a point it's not a it's a that look okay now I don't mind that and then if the stamens all start building up coming out sort of got a bit of movement about them And they sort of hang up past the, the tip of it, don't they? Got a bit of elegance about them. Okay, I'm happy with that. Then we've got our our lines, our, and that really brings in the movement of the pedal I think the the fact that it's got a bit of shape and that will be like the the highlight color the green the, whether that's a running stitch or or what I don't don't know yet and it drifts down into there and then up into there that really helps get our shape doesn't it And then when you start looking at it, there's all these little dots everywhere as well. Okay, one flower. Whew. Oh, goodness me. Now, let's have a look at these, these pods. I'm thinking I could get one through here. It's sort of got to show like it's a heap of these petals 
clustered together. So there's a real lines on them. Then we've got this funny little segment and then the branch comes away again. Now this guy sits in a pod. So where are we going to draw that in? This leaf is sort of... Maybe we can just give the feeling of the pod there. No. How'd they do it? It's sort of a shape like that. Okay. Can we get it bigger? I don't know if I'd notice that. I need to come down past the leaves. Maybe I've got to get bigger. Be brave, girl. Mm. Oh, that's right. I struggled with that and I curved the line in. Like that. Oh, I still don't like it. Oh, don't like it. I've got to show it's this petal here. My angle, maybe it's got to come down out here. I think it's the angle of my flower, to be honest. No. No. <laughs> this pod's proving to be interesting, isn't it? I really like that leaf, so I don't want to change it. Do we have to see the pod? Can it be tucked behind that petal? Not leaf, petal. No, it needs to be, needs to be here. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that in due to my shape. I think this leaf is too big. When I look at this, see how the leaf is a lot shorter? than the pod. So the pod, if that leaf finished there, I could bring the pod in behind. I think I've, I think I've lost the opportunity to actually get that pod picture in. What I might do is if that's the center of the flower there, let's, let's get the branch down. Let's find its home. Let's get a leaf in. That strappy leaf there. Let's get a leaf in there. And a leaf coming out there. <clears throat> now, maybe, maybe if we just very slithery put the pot in there. And if that was, maybe because it's in black and white that I'm just not, you know, really noticing it. No, it doesn't look right. Doesn't look right. I'm not going to put it there. We're going to assume that the pod is in behind, I think. And I can just see a little bit of it there. Maybe I've got to change my leaf direction. My petal. Oh, my goodness. Let's bring the petal more out there. 
that allows the pod to look more natural coming in there. There we go. I'm happy now. That was a struggle, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that'll work. And if that's a different colour, maybe it's got to come more up. And that's more like that. And then there's the divisive lines, divisive, divisive. Nope, don't like that. Do I bring this leaf? Petal. Oh my goodness. More down there. I will get it. Just that's better. That's better. Feels like the pod's there now. And I can bring that guy down, but do a double a double edge. I love these pens. Okay, that looks a bit. That's getting it. I just needed to manipulate that petal a little bit. Still not convinced. Maybe, here we go, we're going again. Maybe I make the pod more up here and bring the stem up higher. How's that look? Do we? Then I could bring the pod more there. Yeah, that's getting better. Let's curve it in like that. There we go. Oh. And here I thought the actual flower would be the challenge, like this, all of this business, the getting the depth. But no, it's the, the bit that holds all the Yeah, that sort of feels a little bit better, I think. And then we've got our branch coming down and just ending. We've got three leaves, we've got the little guy. Can we squeeze another pod up here? We're looking at the whole image now. Let's, let's see. Can we sneak? I want the pods to be, I don't know if they're called pods, but <laughs> they're becoming pods in my world. The, the buds, let's change the words. Gosh, if anyone out there is listening and you're a gardener and you really know your plants, you'll be screaming at the screen about now. I can't concentrate and sketch and get all the right words out of my mouth at the same time. So I do apologize in advance to all the gardeners who are just cringing at the words I'm using to describe. Yeah, I like that. And then if we get all these 
curvy lines into this guy. Like he's ready to pop open up the top there. And then maybe we can just do some strappy, narrow little leaves to soften it. There we go. Oh, that's exhausting. <laughs> this leaf here looks like a gum leaf. But okay. Am I happy with that base? Have I got to be more of this? to make a decision am I happy with that maybe it needs to become more through there yeah yep it's got to be more elongated quite a long I'm still mucking around with that base aren't I yeah that's better very long it's it's not short and stumpy it's got to be long yeah that's Whew. all right it's got a kick in because the flower is bending that way so it's got to it's got to have that shape there we go. Right, that's it. Stop, stop, stop. Yep, happy with that. Put a little leaf through the back there, just to soften that edge. Okay, Whew. oh my goodness, guys. That's 32 minutes of my life. I'll never get back. All right. Are there any, does, does any bud things stick out of those? Let me have a look at this watercolor book. Oh, see, I could do a semi-open thing. <gasps> Don't mess around, girl. Just walk away while you've still got some form of dignity. See how the leaves sit? Yeah, see, that's, I knew there was something a bit about the leaves they they cradle they cradle the stalk see that that there i need to do that and that'll really really make it look like Is this real shape isn't there once you once you can identify those little details I think it just makes makes your um, plant come alive so now I've done the sketch I've got to really start connecting things with actual true because once you start stitching your lines have got to be right so your sketch then gets more defined and you've got to really look into where is that needle and thread going to go yep that leaf's coming from behind we can't see where he's connected we can see where this leaf is connected. We can see where this bud is connected, but we can't see the leaf behind. He's just coming out. I think I need to be more bud like that to 
to show that that's a bloom coming out of something there. So I'm sort of, that caught my eye there, the way the artist has put a bit of colour in there. So I think I'll do something along those lines, have a bit of dark where this guy comes out. Still mucking around with that. I think I've got it now. I'm happy with that, happy with that, happy with that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, are we brave enough now to pick up our permanent pen and sketch it in? I think so. Let's give it a go. What pen were we using? I think we we're using a number two, aren't we? Can't remember. I'm going to say a number three. And now I'm going to draw it. Then it's done. Remember when I did the pansies the first time, I had to come back in with my pen to get that sketchy look. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I can't do that. I've got to do it before I paint. Um, and that way it's in, in the layers of it where this sort of felt like I'd come in afterwards to get that sketched sort of feeling. And I was much happier with having my flower in, you know, with the permanent pen. And then I can decide how much or how little paint and thread I add, but at least I've got it drawn with my permanent pen. And I'm using a point three. To be honest, any of them would be okay. Maybe the point eight is probably, point oh eight is probably a little bit thick, but we'll, we'll go in the middle. Okay, now let's let's get this drawn. Gosh, that tip doesn't like this fabric. That's okay. I'm gonna go up, up a size. Don't know if that tip is had it or it's just dragging. I need a little bit more of a smoother roll. That's better. It was a little bit too pointy. And it was fighting against the grain of the um, fabric. One bud. One leaf. Stem. Concentration. Can you hear it? <laughs> so been enjoying seeing all your pansies and cherry blossoms oh, on our Facebook group. It's great. And I love how some of you have found pieces of embroidery like uh, Susanna and you're using that as your base like a, an old pansy embroidery or 
cherry blossom fabric and using that as your kickstart. So yeah, love it. You don't have to sketch. It's just the technique I've decided to set myself. Sketch, paint, stitch. By all means, you can do all sorts of different ways to build up your flower. Pick your style. Something different is what I wanted to do. All right, Whew. that's exhausting. That's the easy bit. Are we happy with that base? I think so. And I think once that's a different color in there, I'm just gonna lock it in. Done. Stop thinking about it. Let's get these beautiful big petals in. Really happy with the way they look. I feel like I look like a lily. Is that leaf over the top or underneath? He's over the top. That guy is coming through there and we'll show a little edge. I will probably come back as I embroider and paint and add additional little, you know, shapes and lines. Just if I feel like a, a petal is a bit lost. This guy here is the one bent over the back. We can't see him. This guy here. It's a bit of a tricky one as well. Bring him down into the throat. And this guy. Okay, so these little fellows, I want them to really look like they're hanging out in the air. So unusual little, and I'll just do one line of one line of pen to as their little stalk. I don't want it to get too thick. I can always stitch it. I can always come back and add more um, like it might be quite a fine stitching in there so I'm going to keep it fine and not try and do two lines is what I'm trying to say I can then go heavier if I want so let's get some of these detailing bits in and all these little spots that appear They might end up getting covered in paint, but I want that detail there. All these little markings and sketchy bits. Will I do white? You know the other color scheme that really grabbed my eye was the oranges. Oh my goodness, orange and red with a bit of white and black. Oh, so beautiful. Now, where are we going here? Another bud. These buds are going to be beautiful to weave. Do bark, basket weave stitch. I'll leave it at that. Don't, 
don't mess it with more lines, girl. Let's get this little leaf in. I haven't yet brought a lot of fabrics into my piece, have I? I haven't really felt the... Gosh, I love their buds. I think they're so elegant. Did I do this one? What happened there? Okay, we got it. Can we hit it with the iron and it'll all disappear? Let's take my time. So if I spot anything that needs to be sketched in. So far, so good. Leaving behind our sketch. That's good. Looks like I got it all. There you go, guys. One lily. And away we go. So there's our inspiration. Sort of is a bit of that guy, but... That guy, that guy, I don't know. And then this here gave me these buds. They're a little bit more open here, but that's okay. Right, now start looking at the paints. So there's a bit of yellow in there. Mm. Very, very interesting. Quite large on that. They are very big, those little thingamajiggers in there. Oh, stamens. Discover the stamens before they open. The leaves are attached to the main stem. May have a small detail. Yeah, there you go. This little, this little hint of colour. But that's all right. We're there. I believe we've made it. All right, guys. Gee, it's massive. Thanks for joining me. Oh, I need to go and lay down. That was just oh, stressful. All right, guys. I'm going to toddle off. I'm just going to now look at it for a bit and have a think about colours and how it will sit with everything else. And then, oh, then we can get some paints out. So I will see you next week for part two of The Lily. All right, guys, look after yourselves. Have a lovely week. Bye.